simple one, one for here. Let's look at today's algebra problem. So uh, if we have a plus b plus c equals to 3, a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals to 3, we want to calculate this expression, a to the degree of 223 plus b to the degree of 223 plus c to the degree of 223. Again, this is a typical type of problem. Um, and then to just get the value of this expression, we can always just guess because there's no more, no other conditions. Uh, we could just find ABC, specific value of ABC that satisfy the first two equations and plug that into the target expression. So in this case, A straightforward solution for ABC is that we can let A equals to 1, B equals to 1, and C equals to 1, which satisfy both equations. And we plug that into the target expression. We get the target expression also equals to 3. It seems that uh, any kind of uh, expression like this, certain degree of A plus certain degree of b plus certain degree of c, if they are of the same degree, they always equal to 3. That's just a guess. Now we can prove that. Now in order to prove that, we start with a plus b plus c. And then since we have a squared plus b squared plus c squared, a natural thought is just to calculate a plus b plus c squared, because this will connect those two expressions. I'll calculate a plus b plus c square, and we see that uh, a equals to this. Then we plug in what we know, a plus b plus c and a square plus b square plus c square. We plug that in, then we can get a b plus b c plus a c equals to 3 square minus 3, 6, then divide by 2, 3. It happens uh, to be 3 again. And then we can connect it with a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Why we want to do this? Because they are of the same degree. They're all of degree 2. So we can try to come up with some interesting conclusion. Now we will write this, and we time 2, we time uh, 2 on both sides. Why we want to do this? Because we notice that a squared minus 2ab plus b square happens to be a perfect square of a minus b square. And then we can do that for each one of these. So we can rewrite this expression, this equation, into this one. So it equals to a minus b square plus b minus c square plus c minus a square equals to 0. Now, because a, b, c, we're talking here, are all real numbers, and real the perfect the square of real numbers are larger or equal to zero. So if we have three square numbers, uh, their summation equals to zero. Each one of them must equal to zero, which means a equals to b equals to c. And we know a plus b plus c is three. So we know a equals to b equals to c equals to one. Now, this is good enough for us to calculate the target expression. The target expression is just 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3. Actually, it could be a to the degree of n plus b to the degree of m plus c to the degree of s. At any degree, they all add up to 3. And that's it for today.